Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome back to part 18 of my Pelly's America playthrough here in Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. It's been a little while since part 17 went up and I want to thank everybody for their patience uh, in waiting for this series to continue. I know it's the favorite for a lot of, uh, a lot of you out there. So we, uh, what were we going to do? Yeah, I think, I think uh, some better marines are in order because we are already working on the convoy sailing. Uh, oh wait, no, that's not the... Well, anyway, we, we, you know, we might have some more um, in our future as far as that goes. Now, the first armored army is doing well here. And who wants to send me an expeditionary force? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're getting some lag. Who's, co who's capitulating? Oh, I can feel it coming in my bones. Well, anyway, the first armored army is seeming to do uh, pretty well uh, as we push down south into Africa. So again, uh, what is causing this lag? That is not good. I don't think there's been a patch. I don't think there have been any patches or hot fixes. We should not be crashing right now. Uh-oh. There we go. There we go. Yeah, okay, so somebody just capitulated. Oh, uh, Germany, Germany capitulated, so yeah, no wonder that took so long. Okay. So, the Georgian Kingdom, we, we pulled that off. Yeah, Germany is dead, and they are now in exile, but we've already got our forces down here in the south. Um, although I think technically... Oh, geez, yeah, everybody... <laughs> we're going to be lagging for a while. Wow, I did not know this was a... I was actually hoping to avoid this. I wanted to capitulate uh, Africa before Germany, but looks like the United Kingdom did not want to wait. So, it's been a little while, but if I remember correctly, we are now going to be at peace with Germany? Yeah. The conquest of Germany. Today, the unthinkable has occurred. Um, German air forces fighting in Europe have finally collapsed under the weight of the invading armies. The Reich couldn't continue the struggle, and so it appears the Kaiser, his cabinet, and a considerable number of state officials and key generals have embarked by sea to the African colonies still in the hands of the Germans. The Kaiser is seemingly committed to continuing the, to continuing the struggle from his imperial possessions overseas, but for now the war in Europe is over, and the worldwide German Empire has been thrown into utter disarray. Okay, so there is no good reason why we should be... I think we might technically be at peace with Germany, but they're not going to join the Entente. Like, that would be really stupid because we're the ones who capitulated them, right? Let's get dividing all this up. Uh, I think we're just going to give Fri France the, uh, the lion's share of all this. So let's go find them. Where are they at? There we go. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll give them the Benelux region and Morocco, and they can do whatever they want to with it. Okay, which one is the Teke Free State? All right. Well, let's do let's do a pass there. Uh, Oh, it's over here. Okay, no, no, no. This is what I want. So we're going to come over here, take that for myself. And so it begins. No matter which one of us lives. Wait, no. All right, so we, we still have some mopping up operations to do in Europe, but I think my allies are going to take care of that more than anybody. Uh, now, over here, you know, they're doing the darkest hour thing. Uh, now, technically, we are at war with Japan. I really could not care less about that. We are not going to sit around and watch me island hop all the way to Japan and deal with fighting in Central Asia and all that other happy horse shit. I don't care. Uh, so, where's... Who's going to get Bulgaria? Who's going to get Bulgaria? Spain. Uh, Serb. Do I want to just give it? You know, let's give it to the Serbs to figure out what they want to do with it. Okay, it's their problem, not mine. All right, now let's take a look at, again at just who our enemies are. Is Russia uh, part of the co-prosperity sphere? And I forgot. No, Russia's in no faction, but they're trying to head west anyway. Oh, that's right. I did. I did have uh, some uh, 
forces over here. I completely forgot about that. But really, I, I just I don't have any interest in dealing with that. Like we would eventually win. You know, between like you know, I've got the nukes. Do I have? I don't quite have the air superiority yet, but it would just be a matter of time before I did. Yeah, it just it's just a total pain. I'm just looking for my slave labor. So we're going to come down here and justify. 155 days. Okay. So let's let's just double check here who we're at war with. I know about the co-prosperity sphere. Uh, and then the remnants of what was Germany. Uh, Germany's empire and um, sphere of influence. Again, no interest in it. Uh, France is getting really low on manpower, but the United Kingdom's okay. Uh, the Austria's not so much. Let's get these guys over here to shore this up. Okay. Now, do we have the decision? No, we do not have the Tekken Land decision. Yeah. Interesting. So we got this section here for free. Nice. Um, we're already on limited exports. I've got millions in recruitable population. There's no need for me to change anything here. Yeah, we're just going to continue to save up that political power. But the problem is, is that you max out at 400, and I know I'm going to need more than 400. I'm sure of it when I want to, uh, to take all of these areas here. There's also these little rump states like Rwanda here that, uh, I'm going to have to deal with at some point. Also, I'm not sure why the United Kingdom got this. Yeah, a lot of this just looks like a total mess. How's Canada doing in terms of manpower? They still got a decent amount, but they are on all adults serve. Uh, okay, so let's figure out where where are my armies. We have the whole European theater here. We're going to delete all of their orders. Is this the general that, uh, yes, the one that doesn't have a portrait? Okay. Now, what we could do with all of these is just put them against the Russia, the Russian border, and, oh, what could this guy get? Yeah, well, anyway, we could just put them all along the Russian border, and push until you know we're at Moscow gosh it's a, just an enormous front we're dealing with so then let's do one thing at a time we will completely overwhelm these pot this pocket here in North Germany this way the German Republic puppet state that has been created under the United Kingdom will have full access to its potential manpower. All right, I'm sure that's gonna take care of itself. All right, more stuff we gotta do. Uh, we got convoy interdiction. Land doctrine has all been taken care of. I've already got the, uh, yeah, I've already maxed out the modern tanks. Speaking of which, uh, where are they? I want to modify them. Yeah, because we have the A1s, but we can modify them further. So, let's up the engine. No, actually, on second thought, let's, uh, let's up the armor first. Okay. Oh, hold on. There we go. Cool. Logistics? really short on both anti-tank equipment and artillery. Is there any industrial stuff I have not taken? Nope. Really miss the Equestria at War extended trees sometimes. Um, we're taking care of this, we're taking care of that. The Starfire is just gonna take forever. Not a lot to gain by doing that. Mm, support, don't have this MP. Okay. So, uh, how long is it going to take for me to fix my artillery shortage? 71 days, and for the anti-tank, 104 days. Support equipment is going to take 123 days. Light tanks going to take 107 days. Okay, speaking of light tanks, though, let's come down here. 
let's uh, take a look at what we're dealing with here. Their new capital is on the east coast at uh, Dura Salaam. Hmm. War bonds that can wait. All this stuff can wait. Yeah, I need to wait for this when, um, for when I start absorbing all those African countries. Uh, the American Century, also that can wait. Where's the Air Force? Wasn't I just working on that? Oh yeah, I finished it. Yeah, Rule the Skies, that was the last one. Alright, well then, time to do the Navy. Of course, I could just take nothing and enjoy the political power game. But where's the fun in that? Okay, so Portugal is a member of the Entente, right? Yeah. Under Maria the Third, South Africa is not, but I think the best... Maybe I should come through the south here, uh, through Mongu, because this is a neutral country here. Garaganze. Hmm. When When is this justification going to be done? 16th of April. So we got exactly four months. Hmm. And then when when that is done, we'll justify on Garangaze and uh, Rwanda here. Actually, let's just start justifying on this one now. Okay, how's it going over here in Germany? Good. Problem's taking care of itself. Yeah, the Russians attempting to re-liberate Germany. <laughs> I'm sorry, re. I was about to make some jokes about liberty, but I'm playing Pelly. Never mind. Uh, anyway, they they were trying to uh, take back uh, Germany, and it has been an utter failure. Not much in the way of recruitable population over here, though. What is the problem? Wait, in fact, did they go down? They're on volunteer only. Well, how much manpower does Russia have? I know they lost a lot of Asia, but that doesn't really mean much. Yeah, they see they're only on service by requirement. And they still have only over. They still have over a million people left. They've taken a million casualties. Yeah, they, they're getting off pretty light in this war, actually. Is this new logo, new icon here for the focus? I feel like that's new. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think my allies should be able to deal with this pocket, right? Or, yeah, we're gonna come in here, that will get a cut off there. Okay, I think we could just delete these now and move everybody to this enormous front. And we're gonna start heading deep, deep into the heart of darkness that is Russia. Okay, now I'm not building any more divisions except for Patton's pushers right now. Oh, am I still then leasing India? I completely forgot I was doing that. Uh, yeah, can't clear every everything. Why was I sending them so many convoys? I think they just didn't have any or something. Okay, there we go. So Indi India is gonna carry on the fight against the co-prosperity sphere, but like, just look at China. 15 million people we would have to kill. Just, I'm in no mood for that, because they are considered a major power, right? Yeah, they're a major power as well as Japan. So we can't just do the thing where we island hop Japan and capitulate them, and then Feng Tian will also uh, fall. We, we'd have to do both. Uh, which I really don't want to do that. I know we have some troops in these areas, but it just looks like the Japanese are wasting time trying to extract me from the region, and it's not going to happen. And but we can't we can't go over land here. Well, it's not over land, over sea, but we can't we can't go over this strait because it's going to fail miserably that attempt. Actually, let's look at the construction and see what we can. Let's try to make things a little bit more hospitable, though, for the men we do have stationed there. India's... India's got less than 3 million. 
Egypt declared on the German government in exile. Very strange. Uh, I didn't know they got goals on that or anything. Hmm. Is that something new? That they can do? Side with the Arabs. End the rivalry. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, it must be because of the Suez Canal. Right, right. I knew that. Okay. Hmm? Who just fell? Oh, Romania. Excellent. Uh, Romania is... Who's our ally in the Balkans? We can give this to... We'll give it to Bulgaria. Very good, though. Very, very good. Uh, my men are still not in position. They're kind of trying to get there. Hmm. They're not really all in position. Not even close. It's sort of a mess right now. Let's redraw the line. There we go. That should be a bit better. Okay, so did I, let me finally, the BZNS takes power in Bulgaria. Okay. Now, what I was wanting to do is uh, we're gonna, we're gonna kinda come here, try to cut off these southern areas and we're gonna kinda curve around over to their capital. Hmm. Okay. What's next? Uh, special forces stuff, more organization, what's this? Acclimatization factor. Uh, I like the out of supply stuff. Division training time minus 10%. Uh, this is gonna be faster though. Okay. Now, you guys, where are you all at? Uh, we have, yeah, this is good. these are the ones who are all on defense. So we could bring them down into Africa. I think that would be a bad idea, though. Uh, how many divisions does Germany have available? Let's see here. 119. It's not much. Not at all. Where is the... Why did my war support drop a bunch? Hmm. Yeah, why, why, why is that? Hmm. Hmm. Uh-oh. Now what? We need... Okay, now we got all the factories there. We're short on rubber. It's, the, it's always the story of playing as the United States. It's never rubber. Um, well, Egypt looks like they're doing a pretty good job all on their own. Breaking in there. And then these are all the modern tank divisions, right? Let's send them down there. Are we able to build more? No, because we're short on the support equipment. Okay, so no more building divisions for a while. Bulgarian government just got ousted. It's getting weird over there. And, uh, whoa, a lot of red up here, but a lot of green down here in the Ukraine. You know, I'm pretty sure I can afford the casualties. And Ukraine has got... No, that's Czechoslovakia. Ukraine is supplying lots of our enemies. Who is it that we're having trouble against? It looks like it's Poland here that we're getting reds. And against... Well, that's the Ukraine. Are we attacking into forts or something? No. Hmm. What's the problem here? We do not have air superiority. Militia. Oh, those are German divisions, not my own. Uh, but... It's looking good here on the Bessarabian border. Okay. So, I'm just... I really want to knock Russia out of the war because... Well, really, all of these guys are just contributing hundreds of divisions to the fight. I know that Feng Tian is the biggest pain in this regard because it's got 
potentially over 500 divisions, so that's kind of making the game lag. But it already feels like the game is going faster than when this episode started. And keep getting those ace pilots, very good. Now, you have Poland doesn't want to capitulate, we're just going to go around it. Uh, yeah, this, the Ukrainian front is looking really good. We've got some Argentinian motorized divisions, some French mechanized divisions, uh, there's some Austrian tanks, they're all exploiting the gaps that I'm creating. Uh, come on, let's get up here to Kiev. This is this, it's open right here. Uh, all right, so am I actually, my recruitable manpower actually seems to be going up. Cool. And we're still building plenty of nukes, uh, so we got, we got Mosley's men over here. I don't know where I'm going to assign them. I could send them over to India. Maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, but if we look at the supply... Actually, you know, India's army is doing okay in terms of supply, but I'd have to be dependent on them building infrastructure, but I'm just thinking about how maybe I can have them come through the south here. There goes Kiev. But Russia, Russia should should fall pretty fast, I think. Oh, Japan's got 300 divisions. Maybe I should be pressing in there. Oh yeah, I forgot about Harrison over here. He's helping with the Bordeaux pocket. You know, we'll we'll send you over to it. We'll send him over to India. Come down here to like uh, yeah the front that's pushing into South China. No picture there. And uh, see how he'll do in the mountains. Not too well, I'm anticipating. Hmm. How's Russia doing in terms of casualties? 1.46 million. Still, it's uh, it's mostly green. I feel like I'm trending green. There goes Warsaw. Yeah. They're all gonna they're all gonna fall now. Yep. Let's give this over to Germany. Oh, I think I just passed it in the in the menu. That was Belgium. That's Austria. Mm, where's Germany? Where's Germany? There we go. You can take that. That squeak. Uh, all right, so one down. You know, Poland. Poland. Uh, you know, not exactly world conquer, but they can be. They can. They can give you some stiff resistance. So I'm glad we're done with them. Uh, let's keep advancing. We got the Ukraine next. Belarus is bringing 60 divisions to the table. That's not too bad. Uh, Lithuania is almost out of manpower, though. Belarus is two for that matter. They're all getting a little bit short on it. Yeah, the but these the two Baltic nations here, they're they're both scraping the barrel. So it's just it's just becoming a matter of time. I'm wondering if I should bring Mosley over here to have him push here into the Caucasus, maybe. I don't know. I just don't know. And you know, the Middle East is kind of staying out of everybody's business, except that they're going after Germany here in Africa. Hmm. Uh, come on, auto save. Don't. <laughs> there we go. Um. Socialist India's officers core. Yep, they're starting to go up. They're starting to core. Yeah, India's gonna be all right. Yeah. What is this, though? Lithuania? Where were they invading from? Look at the faction screen here. Where did Lithuania pull that invasion off from? Oh, is it the Dutch East Indies? No. It's very strange. We're almost caught up in our logistics. Not so much on the support equipment, actually, but 
Got a little bit of lend lease coming. Hmm. I'm not sure what else I could do. Other than, I guess, work on my navy. Ah, sure. It's late game. It's 47. Just it doesn't matter too much right now. Um, why are we so short on light tanks though? Nobody's even attacking with them. Hmm. Oh, Russia! Shoot. Uh. Okay. Well, there goes Lithuania. Um. We're gonna give this to. Doesn't matter. Just one of my allies. Okay, but uh, Patton, you gotta turn around here because the Russians are taking your port. Shoot. Oh no, they've been totally cut off. Crap. Oh crap. Portugal's not gonna build anything. No! What's the United Kingdom doing? They've got ports. They can bring people down here. I'm about to lose my entire tank army. Hell. I'm gonna be so upset. Just realized I went down the wrong naval doctrine tree in my focus tree. I did trade interdiction when I'm supposed to be doing fleet and being. That was my bad. There, we just gotta, we gotta, you know what? The Russian troops in, Afri in Africa are not gonna matter when, we, when we're marching through Moscow. You know what I mean? Uh, still mostly green bubbles. It's not gonna happen this episode though. No, keep going, keep going. If I didn't know better, I'd say the Russians don't have the manpower to uh, adequately cover the spread anymore. Uh, that's what it's starting to look like. Nice, nice. United Kingdom pulled out resisted Dominion of India. For Canada, they just pulled off some uh, nice invasions up there. And Ukraine has fallen. We're going to give this to... Uh, Yeah, it, re it really doesn't matter. I gotta stop concerning myself with it. But who who was that I just saw in charge of uh, Canada? I did not recognize that face. Okay, it's probably Portugal releasing it. It's causing this, the delay. Come on. Come on. Oh, the late game lag during peace conferences. It's hellish. We're about a month away from declaring war on the German government in exile, though. Well, that's probably going to be a bad idea right now. Uh, but here, I, I could have sworn right now I saw Canada with a different leader. Robert Brooke Popham. A general of the Royal Flying Corps during the Weltkrieg, he has been appointed Ge Governor General of Canada. Brooke Popham has always been an administrator above all else and was essential in the establishment of the Royal Air Force as an independent branch of the British and later Canadian Armed Forces. With his appointment to Quartermaster General of the Canadian Armed Forces, material shortages fell and efficiency rose greatly. It was on this basis that King Edward, too occupied overseeing the reconstruction of the United Kingdom to govern Canada, appointed Brooke Popheim as Canada's first Governor General since the British Revolution. Good for him. Good for him. Okay. Now, uh, we need to do some more research. Let's keep them down here working on these destroyers. We're way ahead on everything, basically. Oh, oh wait. Cl click the wrong research slot. Uh, let's come over here and grab that. Okay. But uh, that, that Robert guy, I think I just... Didn't I just see him somewhere else, too? No? Okay. Must have been imagining things. But uh, with Pip... Yeah, Barossa is... 
is putting up a surprising amount of resistance, but I think uh, I think Russia's maybe just running out of guns, and the Don Kuban Union's making a comeback here in the south. It all looks really good for the Entente. Let's, let's take a look at the world map, see how it looks. Yeah, we've, we've got the whole Western Hemisphere, pretty much. A lot of naval battles happening off of Japan. In terms of casualties, I seem to be still doing okay. Russia's not actually taking that many. I guess it's just their organization keeps dropping and they fall back continuously. But, all right, in about three weeks, we'll be able to declare war on Germany, which is actually not going to help me in any way right now. Let's bring these guys down here, though. Because, uh, yeah, my, my entire tank army has been surrounded and has no organization, so they're just sitting there, not moving. Uh, the Russians are not much better, at least. Will this work at least? Can we get you guys, one of you to come over here? Maybe we can create a supply chain of some kind. All right, well, anyway, thank you for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games. This has been Pelly's America, and in the next episode, I think that Russia is going to capitulate, and then that, uh, in addition to helping the lag, that's going to mean the European front is effectively closed, so that, uh, oh, nice, they got some other naval invasions happening up here, like in Murmansk. Uh, that means all my allies up here are going to be able to send their troops elsewhere. Uh, hopefully it'll be down here to the African front, uh, where Germany is actually now winning against the Sultanate of Egypt. But I'm just hoping they don't commit too many resources over here to Asia, because I don't really care about Asia. So, I'll see you all then. I'm Conquering History Games. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a wonderful day. Bye.